The honey you're buying at the grocery store is fake. In fact, 76% of the honey at the store has no pollen in it. Honey without pollen is technically not honey. It's all filtered away. Why is it filtered away? Because a lot of that honey is actually coming from China. And it's illegal for Chinese honey to be imported to the US. But what China does is they don't ship it from China. They first ship it to Singapore or somewhere else and then export it here. And they filter out all of the pollen because then it's completely untraceable. This is what the video is all about. How to spot fake honey, why it's so bad for you and technically not even honey at all, and how to avoid that and buy the real deal honey. Uh, there's a great documentary on uh, Netflix called Rotten. Watch the honey episode when I'm done and it'll enforce uh, more of the principles I'm talking about here, but especially about that uh, import ban and how they're getting around it. But here's the deal. When you filter out the pollen in honey, which 70%, 76% of the honeys have at the grocery store, you're doing yourself a disservice because it's technically not honey in what's in the pollen. All of the good juju from the honey is in the pollen. The anti-inflammatory benefits, the immune boosting benefits, the vitamins, the nutrients, and the reason why it's filtered out is so you can't trace it back to China and realize, oh wow, we actually have and are selling illegal honey. And the problem with that also is that Chinese honey is usually cheaper in quality. It also, my friends, is cut with brown rice syrup or high fructose corn syrup. It also can have antibiotics and can have high levels of heavy metals like lead. I'll tell you more about that, but if you wanna buy real honey that doesn't come from China, it's so easy. All of these honeys here are either locally sourced honey or I think one is from Brazil, but it's single origin honey. Luckily in this country and really around the world, you can get locally sourced honey that you know exactly where it comes from. There's no reason to be buying the cheap stuff from the grocery store. So like when you see that little bear there in the grocery store, I know it's cute to squeeze its head, but it's not even honey in the first place. It's cut with those other things which you really want to avoid. And what they do also when they filter out the pollen so it's untraceable is that you're also high processing it high filtering it, high heat processing it, and you're killing any of the good um, living nutrients or benefits of the honey once it gets past a certain temperature. So that's really, really bad news. And the fraud also extends to Manuka honey, one of the most expensive honeys in the world I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Um, a lot of it, 86% of Manuka honey is not real or pure Manuka at all. But the one at Costco, there's a theme with all these expose videos we're doing, Costco has the best stuff and the best price. I'll talk about that in a minute. But here's the deal. Chinese honey is almost always cut with brown rice syrup or high fructose corn syrup. Why? Because it's so hard to detect it in honey and that increases the overall volume. And that's what Kevin O'Leary says on Shark Tank. It's all about money, right? That's strike number one. Strike number two is that a lot of times the farmers there will use antibiotics on the hives to prevent any diseases from breaking out. A lot of these antibiotics and chemicals they use are banned here. And so that's strike number two. And you'll notice on a lot of these videos we're doing, like in the garlic expose, which you should watch after this. A lot of your garlic is coming from China and it's highly toxic. In tea, a lot of stuff is sprayed on tea leaves in China that's banned here. Same thing is true with honey. And why the heck would honey be high in heavy metals like lead? Because these small farmers harvest the honey and then put them in lead lined barrels and then ship them to someone else who removes them again and ships them here. So they're high in heavy metals. And unfortunately, just like olive oil, which is another expose we did recently, the FDA has a very hard time detecting this. It's very low on the totem pole. They're cheating. They're costing us all health and money and no one's the wiser, unfortunately. Luckily, if you go to a place like Costco or anywhere, even Costco sells locally sourced honey. Here in Chicagoland, you can get Great Lakes honey. I actually like to go one step above that and buy locally sourced raw honey because raw honey never goes above 112 Fahrenheit for uh, filtration purposes. And raw honey still has living nutrients in there that is so darn good for you. But now that we're getting into fall and cold and flu season, Manuka honey is actually something I would splurge on now because Manuka is like honey 
to the nth degree because everything good about honey, Manuka has more of. It has more of those immune boosting properties, those nutrients, those anti-inflammatory properties, but 86% of the Manuka honey on the market is fake. That reminds me of Elaine on Seinfeld where she's like, fake, fake, yeah. fake, fake. Yes, it's a very Seinfeldy moment. Uh, Manuka should only come from Australia or from New Zealand, but better yet, it should be monofloral honey, meaning the bees are only feeding off of the Manuka plant, um, not multifloral, which can be, hey, the bees had some Manuka, but they also had other flowers too. You want 100% Manuka and Costco has the best price. I would scoop that for sure. It's a real deal and like 50% cheaper. Look at the price. The price is legit too legit to quit. Hey, hey, it's unbelievable because you can find this for twice, sometimes two and a half X the price that Costco has it. Um, also, there's a cool uh, independent party called True Source Verified. It's a little B logo saying True Source Verified. If you're going to buy supermarket honey, not locally sourced like farmer's market honey, make sure that stamp is on there. That's, that stamp tells you for sure that from the hive to the store, it's been verified and traced completely. So look for True Source Verified. I've seen that on a couple honeys at... Um, Aldi actually. And keep in mind, whenever you're buying honey flavored products at the grocery store, those are probably 100% of the time fake, cut with sugars and not the real deal. And think about all the honey products they have. They're like honey covered cereal, honey and bread, uh, granola, snacks like that. Trust me, that is not honey. So I like to get that one from Costco, but luckily for us, uh, Desi's mom sends us raw Bulgarian honey. I'm, I assume that's legal. I'm pretty sure it's not against the rules. Uh, there's nothing uh, live in here. Uh, so we get that. Um, but I also have fans sent me some really good honey recently. I used the one from Costco and these guys sent me one too. Uh, this is a company with raw single origin Montana honey. And I swear to you, it's white and so floral. It's so good. I'm going to put that link down below because it's a very small company that I want to support and it's delicious, but it's just easy to buy locally sourced honey. Don't buy the garbage at the grocery store in those bears. No matter how cute they are, it's going to be fake, 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 and you don't want that kind of stuff in your body. So um, there's also a great book uh, called Real Food, Fake Food that I'm listening to right now on Audible. And uh, the author of that uh, helped with some of the info on this video with an article I saw on, I think, Forbes.com. But there's a lot of stuff out there, you guys. You just got to know what you're putting in your body because there's so much food fraud. You don't want to uh, be buying that stuff for you and your family. Um, that's it, you guys. Uh, if you want to see more exposés like this, let me know. Uh, the Flav City t-shirts are in effect. I'll put the link down below. The Flav City Immune Tea, my immune boosting turmeric and ginger shelf, table, uh, shelf stable tea is live in effect. I'll put that link down below. We're cranking on all cylinders here. The only way we keep helping people and growing the community and helping you all put the best stuff in your body is by liking, subscribing, sharing, hitting the bell icon below the video so you never miss a video when it goes live. But my man Art and I will see you soon. And we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, y'all.